Okay. For this video, we will look at the physics trials analysis for SPM 2022-2023. Bagi versi bahasa Melayu, boleh klik pautan di atas sini ataupun di huraian di bawah. Yeah? Uh, for this one, I just want to start by saying off that this is not ramalan. This is not prediction. I have no special powers to see what will come out. Nobody does. Don't believe anybody when they say this will come out. But this is to help to guide you if you finish studying everything, you already tried doing all sorts of things. Now is near the exam ready. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to focus on. Then you can look at these topics just to look at what has been repeated many times in trial papers. All right. This is not a Ramala. Okay. So let's just look at the questions. I have compiled together, I think, 12 papers, questions. All right. The ones with the yellow background are the form four topics. The one with the white background is form five topics. So I, I will leave a, a link for you to download this. You can download this file. I'll leave a link for you in the description. All right, you can get it. So what I found is that uh, form four is slightly less than form five, around 40%. Okay, total percentage is 42. Form five is 58. So form five is a bigger portion in all the trial papers, all right? But that makes sense because we have more topics in form five compared to form four. And then um, also by section, okay? Section A and section B, uh, form four is around 40 something percent. Form five is 50 something percent. So again, a bigger portion, which makes sense because there's more topics. But section C, 33, section C is only one question, remember, eh? Satu soalan saja. So section C for form four, only thirty three percent of the papers had form four topics. Uh, sixty seven are expecting. Excuse me, sixty seven are expecting form five topics. So this is for by section. All right. Now again, this is not ramalan. Eh? This is just to show you the pattern, right? So if you look at section A, okay, we can see clearly that some things are repeating. Almost every paper in section A, you can see the pink color, nuclear physics. Let me just highlight it, this one, nuclear physics. You can see in almost every paper in section A, it's coming out. Eh? So radioactive decay, I've already done this by topic as well. Eh? So radioactive decay, you can see comes out about the same as nuclear energy, 6.1, 6.2. That's the only subtopics here. Is divided quite equally. Lah. So I will say that um, a lot of the questions that came out is uh, the about the radioactive decay curve. All right. So that's what has come out. Not necessary that it will come out in your exam, but a lot of it has come out in the trial papers. All right. Another one that we can see that is constantly repeating in, in section A is um, gravitation. Form four, Kepler's laws and satellite seems to be coming out quite a bit. Okay, now once again, I'm only explaining what has come out. All right, what has come out? This is not a prediction. So you can see the pattern. I'm zooming out so that you can see the overall pattern. There's no nuclear physics was here. Okay, so you can see gravitation is quite popular this year in the trial papers. All right, we have Kepler's laws coming out quite a bit and the man-made satellite universal law of gravitation came out um, here and here. Kepler's laws is most of it and then satellite we have here and here. All right, and then we have uh, another topic that keeps coming out in section A, very popular, is heat. So you can see heat came out almost every paper in section A. Section A, heat. All right, that's another one that's very popular. Um, Here, uh, no particular pattern. We have specific heat capacity and specific uh, latent heat. All right, there is one or two on thermal equilibrium as well. Eh? Okay. All right, another one that is very common in section A is waves. You can see waves coming out here, here, uh, here, here. Okay, so 
waves is another one but you can see we don't have any particular subtopic no? waves is a big topic isn't it so we have a lot of waves coming out there's reflection there's diffraction all right there's electromagnetic waves a lot of waves okay and then uh, we have uh, Okay, so another one in section A that is very, very popular is electricity. Okay. Electricity, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, eight. Yes, electricity also comes out uh, very common. Okay, now there's another one here. Um, electronics also you can see has come out in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now this one, uh, diode has come out a few times. Electron has come out a few times. Okay, transistor came out in two here. One and two. Again, uh, class. Uh, this is a a pattern. Uh, guys, this is a pattern. Okay, this is not prediction. Please do not take it as prediction. This is to show you the pattern, okay? Because it's the last moments before exam. You really don't know what to read anymore because you already finished reading everything. Then maybe it may pay off to, to focus on these few things. Huh? Not that you abandon everything else and only look at this. Huh? Okay, so then we have uh, in section A. Uh, the others are not so prominent. There's one more that is light and optics. Okay. But light and optics, you can see later in B and C as well. But light and optics has come out in every single paper. Every single paper. Okay. Uh, so it's worth taking note. For section A, we have also. So what has come out is the image formation by lens and mirrors. This is the most popular topic in section A. Lens and mirrors. Okay. Image formation by lens and mirrors. Right? Um, okay. Now, section B, we can see another popular topic here in section B is electromagnetic induction. So, you can see we have electromagnetic induction. There's one, two, three, four, five. Now, they have electromagnetic induction in C as well. So, I'm going to combine B and C because the style of asking questions is quite similar. Okay? So you can see B and C electromagnetism is very popular, very, very popular. All right. So what they like to ask, well, I mean, not what they like to ask, what they have asked mostly is transformer and electromagnetic induction. That's what's going on. You can see a lot of papers, electromagnetic induction, transformer, they combine together. Eh? This also includes electricity transmission, which comes under transformer. Please do not forget that. Eh? Okay. And then uh, we have um, the other one that keeps popping up here is your pressure. Okay, this one they also asked last year. Uh, so in the actual exam. So here what we can see is Archimedes principle and Pascal principle keep coming out in section B and C. Okay, the rest are not so discernible, the pattern. It's all about the same for B and C. I'm talking about B and C only. Uh, all right. Um, so you all can take a look at yourselves and look at the patterns also. I've already color coded everything by topic for you. So it's easy to see. All right, guys. So I hope this has been helpful. All right. If it has, please do do me a favor and hit the like button and share it with all your friends. You can share the file as well. No problem. Please share it with everybody. I hope that you guys are able to really get all the results that you deserve. All right. Just do your best. Don't worry about it anymore. Uh, go through these topics. Uh, don't panic. All right, you guys will be fine. We'll see you guys in the next video.